I don't know who this person is, but she made a review of Khamenei's uh, Twitter account. So that's why she said that's pretty kind of hilarious. This is Ayatollah Khamenei, Supreme Leader of Iran. This is Ayatollah Khamenei, Supreme Leader of Iran's Twitter. Now bear in mind, there's no internet in Iran right now. He turned it off. So who are you tweeting to, Ali? The air? Your fans? Twitter's been blocked in Iran since 2009, little bud. So who are these retweets? Huh? Are you buying Twitter engagement? <laughs> oh, it gets better. There's a, there's a Khamenei on Espanol. No way. <laughs> no way. What's this for? Hello, Senor Khamenei. I just love the way you publicly execute people. Please come to Mexico. It really speaks to me. Like, who is this for? Who is reading you in Spanish? Who do you think you are? BTS? <laughs> so please bear in mind, the riots in Iran are going very, very bad for Khamenei. Rioters have been able to overpower security forces on a number of occasions. But it, it's going so badly. He's trying to blame Mossad. <laughs> Imagine getting your ass handed to you so hard by a bunch of 15 year olds that you're trying to pin it on the Israeli government. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite part was his speech. So the speech says, well, look at Europe and France. Massive riots occur every now and, of, uh, now and then on the streets of Paris. Oh yes, those famous riots in Paris where they set ablaze images of Emmanuel Macron. Oh wait, that never happened! The last time riots looked like this in Paris, it did not end well. <laughs> Senor Khomeini, do you hear the people sing? Singing the song of angry men? It is the music of the people who will not be slaves again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I did I did not know. I did not know. Uh Khomeini was uh, tweeting in Spanish, so that that definitely oh, yeah. that definitely was was surprise trivia information. For me. Actually, Latin America is like a huge target for them. They're they're exporting really? mullahs there. Yeah, I I had a I had a debate on a Clubhouse with a Iranian mullah in Latin America. <laughs> they why are, why is there such a push? Is it is it just because they think it it it's good ground for for Islam to grow or yeah 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 really? they're, they're very active in Africa and in South America. Well, a a Africa, I could uh, I could understand that a little bit more. There's a bit more of a history there, but um... well, they have history in Venezuela and in Argentina. Oh, really? Yeah, they have a huge history there. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm gonna have to look into that. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Oh, Gage and American just uh, celebrated his 10-month membership Woo. saying, could it be people leaving uh, Catholicism? I don't know. Yeah, there, I don't know what it is. Yeah. There is definitely. Um, I know because on, on one of the other shows I, I do, uh, we had a story about a growing um, like evangelicalism kind of in Latin America area, whereas Catholicism was really big. So there, there are some some Catholic numbers declining, um, but we are we are tending to see them go towards the evangelical Protestant Christianity stuff. It seems, so you know, not I I don't know if that's really better or worse. It's it's hard to know. I mean, the Catholic Church is terrible, but also like evangelical Protestants aren't great. So get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.